Xiao Yan are a newcomer to HomeKit, but have come prepared with a suite of devices that cover the basics, including a smart plug, a combined motion sensor and switch, a smart socket, and a door and window sensor, all working with HomeKit via their gateway called the Home Center. So today on HomeKit News, we're going to take a look at all these new devices. So starting with the first of these five devices is the Xiaoyan Home Center, which is the kind of heart of the system as it were. As you can see, it works with HomeKit, and this connects to your system via Ethernet to your router, but then connects to its own devices via Zigbee. Examining the box itself, you can see it's quite sturdy. And the first thing you get is the device itself, which is kind of small, but nicely styled, almost like the, the bonnet of a Jaguar sports car, I might even say. On the base of the device, you've got the HomeKit code. And then on the rear of the device, you've got the connection. So you've got your ethernet port and your USB power and a reset button. Dimensions for the device are 100 by 100 by 24 millimeters high. And yeah, all in all, it's a very inobtrusive device. Um, besides the device itself, you do get a few other things, obviously. So we just have a quick look in the box here. The first thing you'll see is a couple of manuals in Chinese, although when they do release them in the US and the UK, well, they'll probably be in English as well, although they're, they're not really that necessary. So looking at what else is in the box, we've got a USB based power supply. This is the North American version, but you could actually use most USB charges of any description that suits your region and you'll be fine because the device itself is quite low powered. You also get a USB cable which has got a micro USB connection on one end and then the Ethernet cable that connects the home center to your router or your modem. Now moving on to the second of our five devices we've got the Xiaoyan door sensor. Now it's more than just a door sensor because it actually contains a temperature sensor as well which could be quite handy for some people. The packaging itself is pretty standard really but uh, if I open the box you can probably see that it's actually really nicely held in place and apart from the two parts of the sensor you also get yourself some extra stickers if you want to relocate the device after you've already stuck it in place. Now as I've already said before this is more than just a door sensor it does have a temperature sensor as well although on the packaging you don't really get to know that until you install it. Once it is installed via the Xiaoyan app initially, uh, in the home app you will see two tiles. So you'll get the door and window sensor tile and then the temperature sensor tile. So the door and window sensor uses a CR1632 coin battery and thankfully it's very easy to access, unlike some other door and window sensors. So on to number three, and in this case it's the Xiaoyan smart plug. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice about this smart plug is that it's got Chinese pins. So if you're in New Zealand or if you're in Australia or in China, obviously, then it's going to be of use to you. So I couldn't really use it in that respect, although I have tested it out. I've got adapters, so it wasn't that difficult. Um, feels like a solid piece of kit. I mean, the instructions once again in Chinese but you I don't think you'll need them really it was very quick and efficient to set up and once it's set up you basically know what a smart plug does it turns things on and off um, it's quite a powerful device given that um, the voltage in China and New Zealand and Australia are higher than in North America and Taiwan where I am um, yeah, very solid very nice piece of kit really so moving on to device number four and in this case, it's the Xiaoyan Smart Socket. Now, smart sockets are kind of a smaller market, really. But the one thing that immediately attracted me to this device is how small it is. I mean, I've got a couple of uh, smart sockets, one by Incipio and another one by iDevices, and this is by far the thinnest. The height of the device is pretty much the same as the other uh, smart sockets, but it's a lot thinner. And so, in a sense, it's much more discreet. I really like it and I use it on our uh, light above the entrance to our apartment. So moving on to the fifth and final device, we've got the Xiaoyan Awareness Switch. Now this is quite an interesting device because it's a button, it's uh, a motion sensor, although there are actually two motion sensors on this device. It's also an ambient light sensor and it's a temperature sensor. So it's got all those senses thrown in kind of one little package really. 
So examining the contents of the box itself, you get your instruction manuals, the device, and then a spare sticker if you wanted to stick it to the side of a wall. Although you could just place this on a coffee table, for example. The device itself feels quite heavy, so it's got a bit of weight to it. And it's 88 millimeters squared by 23 millimeters high. As already mentioned, you get your uh, ambient light sensor and your temperature sensor. And then obviously there's the button on the top, which has got a really nice tactile feel to it. On the base, you've got your sticker and then you can see the two motion sensors, which do appear in HomeKit as separate motion sensors. When it comes to pressing the button in low light situations, you do get a green ring of LEDs, which is very handy to see the button and know that it's been pressed. I mean, overall, I, I love this device. I mean, I've got to think of what I can do with it in terms of the dual motion sensors, but it is actually a really nice piece of kit. So wrapping up this overview of the suite of products, the first thing is that it's HomeKit compatible via the hub, which is great. The second thing is that you don't need to sign up for any third party account like you would with a car, for example. Uh, it's Zigbee based, so it's very fast. The power supply that goes with the hub itself is USB, so that's not an issue for many regions. Um, most of the devices, apart from the socket, are battery powered, so once again, no issue with regions. It's got a dual motion sensor in the awareness switch, which probably could provide some kind of unique uh, use cases. And finally, the door and window sensor also contains a temperature sensor. So armed with all those kind of uh, positive points, I guess you'd say, it really is down to the individual as to whether they think this is going to be a nice addition to their home kit home. But for me, I think uh, for the awareness switch alone, it provides something pretty unique. So this video was just an overview of the five basic products, but if you head over to homekitnews.com, you can check out full reviews of each and every one of them. Thank you.